Good day everyone, so welcome to another topic for today and this is the geometric means in continuation of our geometric sequence topic. So before we dig down any deeper, let's go ahead and define first what geometric means mean. So geometric means are the terms between any two given terms of a geometric sequence. So the formula is what you noticed, it's, it's still the same as a geometric sequence. A sub n, which is equal to a sub 1 times r raised to the power of a and n minus 1. Where a sub 1 refers to the first term, a sub n refers to the last term, r refers to the common ratio, and n refers to the position of the term. Now let's go ahead and have some examples to fully understand what geometric means mean. So for our first example, find the two geometric means between 6 and 48. Now find two geometric means, what does that mean? So which means you have, there are two terms between 6 and 48. It find two geometric means. So these two missing are the geometric means. So the question is, what are those two terms? We cannot identify it because we don't know what the common ratio is. So that's what we are going to solve using and going back to the original formula of the geometric sequence. So let's solve. A sub n. A sub n refers to the last term of the sequence. And we have our last term, which is 48. So let's substitute is equal to a sub 1, of course, is the first term of the sequence, and we have our first term, which is 6. We don't have a common ratio yet, so this is r. Our n here is the number of terms overall, so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, so 4 minus 1. Continue. 48 is equal to 6r raised to the power of 3. Now, what we need to do first is to eliminate 6 so that we have r cube left. So let's divide both sides by 6. Cancel. So we have r raised to the power of 3. 48 divided by 6 gives us 8. Now, we are looking for the value of r, and we have to eliminate this cube symbol, or the third power. So what we're going to do is to get the cube root for both sides. Get the cube root for both sides. So, cancel. We'll have r. Then, what is the cube root of 8? So the answer is 2. Why 2? Because 2 times 2 times 2 will give us 8. 2 times 2, 4 times 2, 8. So which means our common ratio is 2. Now, since we already know our common ratio, we can already fill the missing item to complete our sequence. 6 times 2, we have 12. Times 2, we have 24. Times 2, we have 48. So this are our two missing terms. Let's go ahead and proceed to our second example. Our next example is find the two geometric means between 2 and 250. So we still have two geometric means. So we'll have two missing terms in between 2 and 250. So we have to identify what are those two missing terms. Again, going back to the formula that we have. So we'll have a sub n is the last term, so we'll have 250, which is equal to the first term, which is 2. Copy r, because that is the unknown in what we're looking for. n, the number of terms, 1, 2, 3, 4. So you'll have 4 minus 1. Next, 250 is equal to 2r raised to the power of 3. Then, we have to eliminate 2. So, which means we have to divide both sides by 2. Cancel. So, you'll have r cube is equal to 125. Again, we are looking for the value of r. 
so we have to eliminate the cube symbol so we have to get the cube root both sides Cancel, cancel. So we have R is equal to what is a cube root, cube root of 125? So the answer is 5. Because 5 times 5 times 5. 5 times 5 is 25 times 5, 125. So our cube root is 5. Then now that we have the value of our common ratio, we can now complete the missing terms. So 2 times the common ratio of 5 will give us 10 times 5, 50, times 5, will have 250. So our last example is, find the three geometric means between 7 and 112. So this time we'll have three empty spaces between 7 and 112. Now, We'll go ahead and use our formula. So a sub n refers to the last term, so we'll have 1 112 is equal to a sub 1, which is equal to 7, times r raised to the power of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so 5 minus 1. Next, 112 is equal to 7r raised to the power of 4. Then, We'll have to eliminate 7, so we have to divide both sides by 7. Cancel. So you'll have r to the 4th is equal to 16. Then, we're looking for the value of r, so we have to eliminate this 4, so we'll get the 4th root. 4th root. Cancel. So the 4th root of 16 is... 2 because 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 will give us 16 2 times 2 4 times 2 8 times 2 16 so our fourth root is 2 now this is the interesting part if if after you subtract and the value is an even number 2 4 6 8 10 and so on you'll have two common ratio a positive and negative 2 so which means you will also have two answers in the sequence so let's use first positive 2 so you'll have 7 times 2 14 times 2 28 times 2 56 and times 2 112 or the other answer which is negative 2 7 times negative 2 will give us negative 14 times negative 2 will give us positive 28 times negative 2 will give us negative 56 times negative 2 will give us 5 I mean 112 so which means both answers the positive and the negative 2 satisfies these two geometric sequences so that's it those are our three examples for the geometric means so if you have any question just leave them down in the comment section below but for now i really hope you learned a lot and thank you very much and have a wonderful day